Alright, what is up my friends? Welcome to Bronze the Mythic, the show where I draft my account from Bronze the Mythic, as in the title, new channel, subscribe, like, comment, please hit all the buttons, help me out, help me grow my channel, I really appreciate that, thanks so much. We're in silver, we are in silver tier 2, we are drafting Baldur's Gate, the new digital only set on Arena, and we'll just get right into the game. Starting our drafts here, and uh, been fun so far, digital only mechanics have been somewhat interesting. Uh, but cool is a little wordy at times, but cool so far. Last draft was a very successful one. If you missed it, go watch it for sure. Definitely starting to get a feel for the format a little bit. This feels like a big stuff format. Uh, you want to make sure you have some big, powerful end game cards. We get rule spells. Tony Max my viewers. That's cool. All right. Let's check it out here. Again, untapped.gg is here. And untapped is phenomenal. Download it for free. You can see the draft overlay. That's what, that's what that is. Check it out. Untapped.gg. So... We played two merchants last draft. Merchant is great. However, we get we only had one loss in our last draft, and we got freaking crushed by this card. Absolutely crushed. Uh, it's specialized cards. Got a lot of words on it. The long and short of it is that when you specialize it, it's a big flyer that makes your other things, uh, other flyers, really good, and then it gives things flying also. So. We're taking this card. Card's super sweet. Merchant's obviously very, very good. We already know that. Part of the point of the series is to uh, to take the cards we don't we don't really know what they are and learn. I didn't read this rare. Uh, every creature in the battlefield that was cast exile, then return all permanent cards exile with so like double triggers on a dollar. Whatever, sure. And then uh, paladin's good. We are passing some good white cards here, but whatever. We we control what we pass. Uh, I think merchant here is totally defensible, but I want to try this card out. It's a freaking elephant, folks. All right. Take the elephant. Get past the pack with uh, a common missing. The rare is Signature Spells. Six mana enchantment. When the ETBs seek two instant or sorcery cards, then exile them. Then if you're upkeep, you may ca copy a card, cast this, and play it for free. Pretty cool. I saw Detsy had a super sick deck with this uh, with this card. It does look really, really fun. Does not jive very well with our first, uh, our first pick here. Elephant Angel. Yes, Elephant Angel. Sorry. Um... This bag is terrible. Just awful. Uh, I guess the specialized two drop is pretty good. Uh, Rabble Rouser is okay. But for the most part, all the cards in the back are terrible. I mean, Twin and Hacks Axe is also okay. Uh, not bad in the Flyer deck in theory, but like, I don't know how Flyery Blue White is. I would say green is the best pairing for this card anyway, because you want to give your green idiots flying. So this card's good. Just a bear with upside. So take Specialized card. Hope the next pack is better. That's a good one. That's a good one. A lot of good cards here. So, Mist Dragon's phenomenal. Uh, it's basically just a, uh, a Berg Strider, but with flying. Easy Beast, and it frosts something. It's a very, very good effect and limited. Very, very powerful card. Uh, it was also a Steadfast Paladin, though, which is a super, super good card. Um, in any aggressive deck, super solid. Jade Orb, Soldier of the Watch, also solid. So, White seems to be flowing a little bit, which is nice. Um... The reality is, if we take the Mist Dragon, we're losing out on one of our picks here. Whereas if we take the Paladin, we're going to be probably green-white in theory. Uh, the Mist Dragon is really, really good, but I think I want to stay on color here. And I think that this card's going to play well in this deck. We give it flying, pump it up, uh, or take, this, take the Paladin here. Okay, all right. Well, fourth pick, Minthura of the Absolute. This card is exceptionally good. Played against this card earlier. Uh... Cards are really, really good. Why Paladin over Soldiers? Pal Lifelink is probably the most underrated ability in Magic. Uh, it is so good and limited. So good. So good. Uh, so, pretty easy uh, absolute here. Uh, whenever a thing dies, it pumps the power of all your stuff. Which is super great. Reasonable body. Uh, I don't think you can consider taking the other card here. So, might end up not playing green. We'll see. Uh, more good white cards, though. Some good black cards here, too. We've got a Toll Keeper, super solid 2-drop, very aggressive, 3-1, and it gets to make one of your opponent's things come and tap, which is great. Um, we get a Scholar, which specializes in, I don't even know how to read that card. Uh, horror, Gaster will fine, but pretty easy uh, Toll Keeper here. We're already pretty white, we know that, so 
moving on to our next pack. Bone Collar Cleric is like just fine. Um, it can zombify things. It's a two drop. It's reasonable. Something I watch is also only fine. We're looking to be pretty aggressive. So I don't think uh, we necessarily want this card that bad. The Clerics, we also not necessarily are black. We like have one black card. I guess we'll take the watch. We'll just take the white cards. Keep cutting white. This card's like only okay. So unless you're like somehow specifically a reanimator deck, we'll take the watch. Take the watch. Uh, okay. I mean, Stalwart's fine. It, can, it blinks your non-warriors. Um, so you can blink your uh, your elephant and stuff like that. It triggers the, this thing too. It's, fine. it's a fine card. It's a fine card. Charm Sleep, pretty good as well, but we're not blue, so. Definitely white so far. Uh, there's a pretty late Lenorm. This card's really, really good. This is what I was saying about being green-white. You put these counters on the Steadfast Pal and have a 4-4 Life Linker, it's big game. Big game. So right now we're definitely white. We're not sure if we're green or black. Could possibly be both if we want to splash, um, but decent start so far. For creatures cast the battlefield, just cast exile it, then return all permanent cards, exile this. Yeah, weird card. You could like keep reusing your abilities, but like, I don't know, whatever. So take the something I'll watch. Don't really want any of these cards, but I guess like if we end up with a bunch of doubles, say we, say we end up with like five steadfast paladins, this card's actually pretty good. I don't, want, I don't want to play those cards. Sure. Let's take it. Let's take it. Uh, we got an orb and some crap. I don't think we're playing orb either, but sure. Uh, a circle of the land druid. Also not particularly great in our deck, but sure. Uh, you line up a shot or a looter. I mean, this card's honestly fine. You line up a shot, which is fine. Follow the tracks. Cool card. Not only for our deck. Pack two. What do we do? We open up a... Another Alondo Vasir. Pretty cool card, honestly, but if we're going to be an aggressive deck, we don't really want to splash, and we don't really want this kind of effect either. We got the Hippogriff here. This card's been exceptionally good against us so far. Uh, almost all the adventure cards are just excellent. Uh, they're not necessarily great on either side, but they're just two cards in one. You know, they're just so good. So, Hippogriff here for sure. Um, not much else I'd really want, honestly, so... Oh, okay. So, we got a dragon. It's a big one. Seven mana for a 7-7 seven, seven flying dragon. Good lord. Gigantic. Whenever it does come damage to a player, roll a d20. When you do, put X plus plus one counters on each of the two target creatures where X is the result. Oh my god. If this thing ever hits, you just win the game on the spot. Um, We're not really like a big... Like, this, this card would have been insane in our last deck. Uh... We're not really like a big dumb idiot deck. We're more of like a, a streamlined aggressive deck. But this card just seems pretty stupid. So I think we're just taking it. Like I'd probably take like some good quality green common or um, whatever uncommon over it. But sure. Big stupid dragon it is. Another paladin. Great. Like we're like a low curve. What is this card? Eight mana. Seek X creature enchantment or play the cards with X with highest mana value on creatures you control. All right, uh, this card's cool, but this card's not for us. Um, again, if we were like the big green rampy deck, sure. I don't think we are though. This card probably wins the game when you cast it, but it's freaking eight mana, and I already have a big dumb mythic, so I'm shaking step S Paladin. If we like, we're desperate for a way to win, sure. But all right, uh, there's Albear Shepherd. I do like this card. Uh, um, we got Fraying Line here. Get these damn reading glasses out. Uh. No! Fraying Line's out. They'll put a cap counter on creature you control. Being of each player's upkeep, that player may pay two. If they do, put a rope counter on a creature they control. Otherwise, exile Fraying Line. Each creature without a rope counter on it, then remove all rope counters from all creatures. I read it. I have no idea what it does. I just don't care. All right, so band together. We got a band together here, right? We need a removal spell. Both these are really, really good. We got to take the kill spell here. Take the kids of Wrath. Well, I don't want a Wrath anyway, so. Uh, Nurturer, Pilgrim's Eye, Ambush on the Road, Wild Shape. Very bad Wrath. All right. Uh, 
I mean, we're not really nurturing in this deck, because, again, we're not really ramping that much. Shepard's only medium. Take Pilgrim's Eye. The first time here, folks, the ratings use... Oh, my God. Another one? <laughs> the ratings you see on the bottom are the DraftSmith rankings. Free free thing to download. It's called untapped.gg. If you play Arena on your computer, you want untapped. It's the freaking bomb. It's also an owlbear, too. Download it for free. Use my link, please. They sponsor me. They're phenomenal. Um... It's got to be another one of these things. Because, like, the thing is, it has a separate name if you specialize it, so you can play you can play multiples. So, yeah, it's way too good. Uh, this pack's bad. All right. Sure. I'm not playing these cards, I don't think, but whatever. Owlbear's great, but Lulu's looking insane. Another band together? Oh, man, this deck is, this deck is looking nice. This deck is looking nice. Dawnbringer Cleric? Sure. Uh... Unicorn. We have two Steadfast Paladins for Life Gain. And that is it. Not much else. However, Dragonborn is not very good in this deck. So we'll take the Unicorn on the off chance we end up with more Life Gain stuff. Uh, line up a shot. Sure. Lulu gains life also. Oh, it does gain life. If it's the uh, if it's the white side. Can gain life. It's not like a... It's pretty, pretty thin to call out a Life Gain enabler, you know? Yeah, the white specialized gains life. Oh my god. Don't think we're playing uh, Hell Giant in, our, in this deck. I, I, lo I love the card. It's not really us, but... The black one gains life, too. If I up, I'm, I'm probably not playing this, so... That is true. Alright, so... Shepard, I mean, it could be a thing with the Unicorn, maybe, but... Alright, pretty good. So, the, the draft rating... Uh, normally, this is kind of a weird set. Normally, there's an LSV rating. Uh, static ranking on the top. And the bottom rating takes into account the cards you've drafted, yes. It is based on the algorithm of all the cards played, all the games played on Untapped. And it's not perfect, but it is uh, a very good helper. Very, very good helper. Look at my videos on YouTube. You can check it out more info on that. So, open up Kelmet, Novice Acolyte. It's 2-2 two, two for 2. When ETBs, creature cards in your hand, perpetually get plus 2, plus 2. Whoa. That's good. And it specializes into a lifelinker or... This card is insane. <laughs> Oh my god, this card's wild. That card's insane. Uh, that card's that that's that's a that's a that's ridiculous. Just without specialize, it's just insanely good. Alright. Um We got a druid here, but yeah, we're not really a rampy deck, so probably take the, take, the, take, the, uh, take the kill spell here. Uh Unicorn's getting a little better. It's true, it's true. We'll see. Let's take the removal spell. Again, Druid's really, really good. But we're a great low curve deck here, so like I, it's probably wrong to play this. I'm not gonna lie. We'll see how good our deck is, but uh, priest invasion lore is awesome. Oh wait, hold on. What's this card do? Two G first strike reach never attacks, but oh yeah, it's all the equipment attached to it. Uh, I mean, this card's like it's fine. Uh, this just bounces your own stuff. I don't think it's better than Priest is, though. And then Priest is good with our our Unicorn, in theory. Like, 2-2 two -two First Strike Reach is obviously fine, but I think Priest is better. Although I only have, like, four 2-drops. I'm going to take a 2-drop. Um, We have ways to pump it. First Strike's pretty good. I want to keep my curve nice and low. Uh, I'm going to take a 2-drop. It might be wrong, but... Two drop might reel, probably not. All right, we have Soldier of the Watch here, another good two drop. Uh, Guiding Bolt is fine. We have two kill spells already. We have actually three kill spells, so take Soldiers. More two drops. Another Paladin. Oh my God, we're going places, folks. Also a a, dra a draconic thingy here. We have two dragons. Only two. This card is really good. Um, is it better than another Paladin though? Paladin's also really good. Ah, uh, I'm gonna paladin. I'm just gonna eye my curve here. Eh, maybe not. All right, I'll take this thing. Sure. All right. Uh, an okay trick. It's good guards this back. Jeez. I'm not playing this. Uh, don't like the watch card in our deck very much, honestly. Wild Shape is 
is fine. Uh, it's not great, but definitely a late serpent. What is this? Dragon Vassal. Dragon Ranger 4-4 four, four specialized stuff. It's also a devoted paladin, though, which is really, really good in our deck. Um, this card's more active. Plus, I'm one of Vigilance is great. We're going super wide. Um, yeah, I'm taking, the, I'm taking the, the paladin. Portable hole, farewell. Uh, I don't really want any of these cards. We're 26 playables at present. What's going to do? Okay. Okay. I think we're good here. Um, definitely a little unsure about some of our cards. Definitely in the right color, that's for sure. Uh, Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Pretty good. Pretty good. Portable Hall is not great. Uh, I would not I would not start Portable Hall. I would board it in if I was playing best of three. But Alright, well, Selesnia all the way, clearly. Um... We have one, two, three, four, five. We have seven two drops. Unicorn, double off, I think it's Amen, band together. Shepherd's not great. Uh Pilgrim's Eye's fine. We're not playing the black card, obviously. Hippogriff, Stalwart. Yeah, our card's pretty good. We're gonna play the big dumb idiot. Big dumb dragon. It's twenty four cards. Um Definitely happy playing 16 lands in this deck. It's best of it's a best of one, so the, the hand smoother helps out. And our curve really realistically is pretty low. Uh, two cheap one mana tricks that aren't necessarily great, but are pretty good in our deck, honestly. Um, Wild Shape's okay. It's pr it's pretty good with our with our paladins because we're going to be in a spot a lot of the time where like they have a two two, we have a two two, we attack them. They actively want to block because you actively want to block this card and Wild Shape would be all right. Um, can protect our Lulu also. It's not bad. I if you if you haven't watched Bronze Mythic before, uh, I am extremely fond of one mana tricks because they are very, very hard to play around. Uh normally if your opponent leaves up two or three mana, you can kind of sniff out their trick if you're a good player. But if they just have one random mana untapped, it's so hard to just be like, you know, they can only have one possible card. I can't really play around it and if they have it, so um so Let's see. Bard. Cleric. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. We could play, like, one of the Shepherds over one of the Tricks, but, like, we just don't really need to, honestly. I'm pretty happy with our deck overall. We're going pretty wide. We've got some things to blink. We have a few good rares. Good things to pump, also. I actually wouldn't mind having a second one of these, but... Um, I'm down. Deck seems good. Deck seems good. Split is 16-8. So we're going to go uh, play some cool lands out. I like think it's lands. They're fun. And then we'll do these lands. So we're going to go 9-7. All right. You want the Cleric over the Pilgrim's Eye? What Cleric? Dawnbringer Cleric? No. Get out of here. This card sucks. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye is fine. You know. 17 lands of your deck is clunky and has, has good mana sinks. You know, 16 lands is totally reasonable. My, my baseline for best of one is 16. Normally it's 17 in, in like best of three paper magic, but the hand smoother helps you out. So that's our deck. Looks pretty solid. It's prediction time. Time to place your bets on stream. If you're on YouTube, pause the video, scroll to the comments, liking and subbing along the way. Please, I have a new channel. I'm begging you. Please hit all the buttons. Help me grow my channel. Please, please, please. And uh, believer or non-believer, let's like get seven wins, yes or no. What do you think? Let's go. Bronze Mythic Episode 4, Rockin' and Rollin'. Round 1, 70-30. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a believer too, honestly. I'm kind of a believer too, I'm not going to lie. Deck seems sweet. So, let's go. Chat, come help me out. Let's go here. Hands great, keep. Hands great, keep. We got our Toll Keeper trying to screw their lands up, which is awesome. Uh, Stalwart's cool too. Yeah, we'll hit on Toll Keeper. Try to mess their lands up. What do we got here? They got, oh my god, their entire hand is creatures and lands. Uh, Dawnbringer Cleric, Hippo, Naga, Albear. Not much to mess up here, honestly. Not much to mess up. Uh, we could, like, uh, I want this. Just choose, like, a, I guess, like, a planes if I choose planes. That's funny. They didn't, they didn't play around my Toll Keeper by playing the planes first. 
Sure. That, that works, I guess. So, we now get another entire hand, too. This card's cool. I like this card. Play of Planes. Okay. Um, it's funny, because, like, we don't have much to do with our, uh, our mana otherwise. Alright. Tiger 3, so there you go. Like, we almost, like, wanted to use this this turn. Two mana get taxi and probe. Abandoned legacy? They have an innkeeper. Okay. Innkeeper. But they're not going to use it. Alright, sure. So, probably a good spot for us here. We jam. Probably block, and we'll use the hippogriff. Fantastic. So, adventure cards, the nut. They have their own hippogriff. Sure, that's fine. So, they bounce. And we say go. Unfortunately, missing a land drop here is not ideal, but they have land. What the hell is that? Champions of Tear. Uh, Mythic Rare, 4 3 flying double team. Double team is broken, by the way. When it ETBs, you get a boon whenever you cast your creature spell. That creature gets a plus plus encounter, a flying counter, or a lifelink counter. That card's really, really good. Uh, now, however, because they use their blessing so aggressively, now I can kill it. So, if, I don't know if I just drew that or not, but if they had it, and they could have held it and uh, and saved it, but now they can't. So, we have Band Together to kill it, which is huge. Uh, card's busted. Card's busted. Wouldn't mind drawing a land here to keep my Keeper alive when I attack, but... That's scary. Jim D. Fear in chat. Didn't draw land. Tilt. Uh, so, boom, boom. Gain some life. I'm not going to offer my uh, my 3-1 for this innkeeper attack. So, double team is uh, a new mechanic. It's digital only. It basically means when this creature attacks, conjure a copy of this card into your hand, and then both those cards lose double team. It's just two cards in one. Which is super, super, but it has to attack. All right, there's Albear, And they're going to give Albear probably lifelink, I would think. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to assume they drew this the turn they cast it. So they didn't know they should have kept their protection spell. But yeah. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Love it. Put that, Crimson, put that in Discord. That's a great one. That's a great one. Albear is going to be a lifelink trampler. We draw land, which is good. Um... We can blink the Toll Keeper. Uh, wild Shape, Ambush. Not really uh, in a good spot to tussle with this thing. I guess we have... is a 4-4, four, four, yeah. All right, sure. We'll just blink this thing for now. Playing Hippogriff is also fine, but doesn't do much this turn, whereas Stalwart and Paladin can block Albear, so I'm just going to play this. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Bounce Toll Keeper. Get a look at the hand again, and uh, make this thing come in tap, probably. Naga. Man, their, hand, their deck is good. Uh -huh. They got some boomers. They got some boomers. Alright, Naga comes in tapped. No attacks. There you go. Might need this bronze dragon to win this game, honestly. This feel, it feels like a big stuff format, uh, honestly. Like, ramp into big things, kill stuff, draw cards. It's possible that we're too low to the ground for the format, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe these sort of small ball tricks aren't good in this format. But that's why we're here. That's why we're learning, you know? That's also really big. Okay. That's freaking huge. Well, now it's dragon or bust, I feel like. So, land, griffin. I want to leave up wild shape or ambush. Probably ambushed, actually. All right. So, there you go. I think our deck is good, but card quality we're getting we're getting crushed pretty hard here. We'll see. We'll see. Pretty good trick here at ambushed. They've got Shepherd, Cleric, Naga. Shepherd will draw them a card every turn. Card's busted. Okay, this card in our last deck was very, very good. Dombringer Cleric. That card's bad at least. Alright. So, they're going up to 23. 
Will they attack? Probably not, honestly. Yeah, just gonna draw cards. All right. Gross. We draw non-land. This thing specializes, and all it does is destroy artifacts or enchantments. All right, so... Puts a counter on each of the two other creatures. That's pretty awesome, actually. Play this thing. And I can put... So if I discard a... A white card, I get to put two plus one plus one counters on two other creatures, and it's a three four. That's pretty good. Put a counter on the Griffin and a counter on the Paladin just attack. I like that. I'm down. I'm down. So we're gonna pay, discarding a white card, right? So we're gonna discard ambushed. Uh, leave up wild shape. Flip this bad boy. Discard a white card. Specialize to. There are no artifacts or enchantments. Submit zero. And then we're going to put a counter on the Paladin, a counter on the Griff. And then we're going to attack. The Griff jumps the Paladins. We're in for six here. So, deal six, gain three. Not bad. Yes, discarding lands is, is a good part of Specialize for sure. And that's that's what I was saying earlier about Mana Sync. So, it's a big one. That's a big one. Scaled Nurturer is not very exciting here. Contain my hippogriff. Better there than here, right? Better there than here. Uh, I can, I can, actually, I have a protection spell too. This thing gives a, I can make it into a turtle with hexproof, which we're going to do actually, so never mind. Wild shape protection. Turtle? Teenage mutant. Oh my God, they're attacking with everything. All right, um, choose blockers. They're gonna this this can't this must have been a misclick. There's no way this attack is correct. Um We get to kill their shepherd. Uh what's up, Thanos? Just I don't care, I'll take a bunch, whatever. <laughs> like, just take 13, kill it, who cares? Cool, done, easy game. So that's fun so far. I, that must have been a space jam. Like, that attack's just so bad. We draw Lulu. We could specialize Lulu discarding the dragon. I'm just saying. I, I was worried about getting seven mana with this card, you know? Seven mana is a lot. Pour one out for our opponent, who obviously space jammed by accident and just shame scoops. Um, we've all been there. Razor Hand Chat has been there before, right? Space jamming. You're hitting space bar trying to go through. I talk about everything by accident. You've all been there. We've all been there, all right? Remember, folks, we're brought to you by callusapparel.shop. Look at these freaking shirts. Callusapparel.shop, promo code GM10, 10% off your order. The best magic apparel out there, not close. Super high quality. Super. When I think about them, I touch myself. Super awesome. My shirts are on there, too. Stickers, shirts, you name it, they got it. Callusapparel.shop, promo code GM10, 10 off your order. Callusapparel.shop. I mean, we're, we're never cast of this dragon, folks. We're never cast of this dragon. We're going to keep. Uh, hand's great. Not the good not a good deck for this card. It's very, very good, but not a good deck for this card. All right, so land go. Delete on our Toll Keeper again. We need to play Lulu, and then Lulu gives it so the next creature you cast is flying. You get to give our, our Paladin flying, which is also awesome. All right, so forest, forest, swamp, swamp, reach thing. I feel like making a land tapped here is almost worthless. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this thing. So it is a spider. It kills flyers too, actually. This card's actually sick against us. This card's gross. Three mana to kill a flyer. It should kill my Lulu. I guess like we, the Lulu will still give this thing flying anyway, though. So let's tack. This card's really good against us. Yeah. Like, we're not going to not play Lulu, right? Like, otherwise we're playing a Paladin, just not playing this forever. We have Dragon, too. Yeah, whatever. Just cast Lulu. So we get a Boon. Once again, if you're unfamiliar with Boon, it's a new digital-only mechanic. Boon is basically just an emblem. It goes off to the side and lets you know that your next 
thing you cast is affected by it, which is super cool. So, kill Lulu. That's fine. The ability is still here. Pilgrim's Eye. All right. Well, I do want to land, but we got to give our, our Stiff-Ass Paladin flying. So now it perpetually is flying, which is awesome. Tutu Flying Lifelinker. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Honestly, if our opponent's going to Grim Bounty our freaking two drop, I, I am okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right, so we drew a land, so we don't, no need to make a land drop this turn. We're going to play land, play Paladin. Next turn, we can go Pilgrim's Eye Plains and play Band together, so. All right, they can gas their, their Spider if they want to. ETB's tapped, though. Okay. Uh, we draw another land. All right, maybe we are casting Dragon this game, folks. Maybe we are casting Dragon this game. All right, Pilgrim's Eye. I can't cast Band. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I shouldn't say that. Attack for a bunch. Just miscounted. Can't cast Band together this turn. Whatever, it's fine, though. Almost took Dargan. <clears throat> Don't kill our opponent first. Ooh. Ooh. Good Lord. Gigantic. That's big. All right, we have Dragon Mana, folks. <clears throat> we're gonna uh, we're gonna kill this. Oh, so that's enough flying. Never mind. Um, now what? I think we just say go. So we don't really like kill this Edder Cap. I'm just gonna say go. <clears throat> Next turn. Next turn. Hoping for no more removal spells. They did. They did fire off that Grim Bounty pretty aggressively. So, a little fearful that they have a way to kill my thing, but... Dryder's not a bad target for band together. Bone Caller Cleric? Okay. Sure. So, band together. We're gonna kill this Dryder. And then cast our big idiot. Alright. Here we go. Oh, man, I can protect it. If I, if I wait, wait one turn, I can protect it by another mana. Oh, do we wait? It does feel like we're pretty behind this game. Um, <clears throat> what do you think? What do we think here? They have two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. Not, not zero. They had zero. I slam it, obviously. Uh, we're 36% to draw land. It might be a while. Uh, honestly, it might be a while. Um... The problem also is like there's a mine rot in this set too, which sucks. Let's not play it. All right, here we go. Here we go. No animation. There you go. Oh, I can't look. I can't look. I'm not looking. Is my dragon okay? Somebody tell me. Is my dragon okay? That didn't sound good. No! Crap. Crap. Draw a land 100% of a time here. 100% of a time. Yeah, obviously. Oh, damn it. You're 36% to draw a land, you know? All right, we're in big trouble now. Uh-huh. Big trouble now. Stupid hamster. I think it was right to cast it, honestly. But, all right, they attack. This is plus one, plus three. Five, six. Yeah. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Draw a land next turn, too, for sure. Wouldn't have saved it either way to wait. What do you mean? We just bounce it back to our hand. What are you talking about? All right. Uh, untap. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Why you gotta be so rude? Draw like. 
Let me draw the Sunlight on this game. All right. Here comes the Gorger, and now the now the spider's getting frisky too. All right. Well, we can use our ambush to save our stuff here. In theory, maybe, maybe, possibly. Got a pump here. Keep my things alive. Bone Collar Cleric's just like brutal on this board too. All right, go to five. Man, oh. You ever have one of those games where nothing goes your way? Jesus, slow down. Oh, I drew, I drew a, I drew a, I drew a spell. That's good. That's good. All right, you got me. You got me. You got me. Pretty good. Pretty good. Like, the Adventure Spider just, like, really, really uh, threw things for a loop. It was very, very good. All right. Uh, we're keeping. We're keeping. We got a dragon to find a dragon. We're halfway to casting our dragon anyways, so. Gate. These lands are so good. So good. Shambling Guest. Little, uh, little Holly Font here. What's up, Hunter? The sky is falling. Don't worry, Hunter. It's going to be okay. We're going to be great. We're going to be great. Pilgrim's Eye, sure. Little Lulu. We could pitch one of our green cards. And I don't know what pitch, actually. They're all really good. We'll see. We could pitch a land here, too, but. A unicorn. Um, what, uh, what gives this thing lifelink or life if it's white? Give me the unicorn flying is pretty sweet, honestly. Uh, we could play unicorn attack here, just like trade and get a 4-3. Oh, that sucks though. So we should play this Lulu and Sego. Play Lulu, Sego. We get a boon. The next creature we cast is flying. So we're going to give our unicorn flying. This card's really good. <laughs> really, really good. Even if it dies here, it's still great. Would like to draw a green land at some point, but, you know, no rush. No rush. I ain't worried. All right. So they're splashing green. All right. They're ramping. They're ramping. This feels like a, a really good card, this format. I would say this card sort of, like, encapsulates the format. It feels like a big stuff format. This is a really good big stuff card. Really good big stuff card. All right. They get some Landos. Put one in a play. Sure. Actual factual Hunter Pence. Um, so we're going to. What have you? So many words. So many words. My reading glasses. Um, every attack on more creatures with flying, you gain that twice that much life. Okay. So I mean, we're casting the unicorn, I guess, right? Just playing a land playing unicorn anyway. So just play this attack for once. There you go. Green's big stuff is the fastest, most play draw dependent format of all time. All best decks are aggro martyr decks. I mean, I'm only four drafts in, but I, I disagree strongly so far. But we'll see. We'll see. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. What's up, Sunny Dawn? Yeah. Rise of the Eldrazi. I would say Rise of the Eldrazi feels like a similar, a, a pretty good analogy. Uh, Rise was a, was a very, like, battle cruisery, two for one, build you up kind of format. Man. You need it. These opponents need to chill. Played an orb and then killed my thing. They get a boon for plus two plus oh. That's good. Uh, I would trade Paladin here, I think. I guess I have the Lenorm or whatever in theory to uh, pump this maybe, but I'm just going to block. Eh, it's close. It's close. Um, Band together also... So I can't attack into the gas anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna block. It's a good sign when folks that don't really know we don't really know what kind of format it is. The fact that people are you know contesting what kind of format it is, it's a pretty good sign, honestly. Another freaking planes. Um, Somebody's playing a prank on me. Boon. This is gonna be a two-four flyer if I discard a card and I gain a little bit of life. Sure. Just like double planes here. We don't need we don't need, we don't need our six planes at all. So.
Let's play land. Attack. So we attack. Oh, is it other? It's each other, isn't it? My bad. My bad. All right, so they're gonna crack their gate and draw a card. That's a really good sign. If they're if they have a bunch of mana and their best play is just to draw a card, that means they're probably pretty flooded. Oh no. This card's obviously very very good. Uh, another planes. This is bullshit. Seven planes, zero forests. I'm playing nine planes, seven forests. Not even real. It's not even real, folks. I can't even cast my dragon. How could this happen to me? Why does it have haste? This thing is haste too? Oh, okay, here's this thing. Oh my god. Well, we drew the forest. Right on time. Look at the mask with my boy. Alright, well, you got me, I guess. Tough game. Tough game. Tough one. Feels like an overpower format. Small balling it might not be part of the equation. Alright, I mean, hand looks good again, so... Might go Paladin Unicorn rather than Tollkeeper, so... I'm trying, Jared. I'm trying my best. I don't think I've played badly either, either, badly either, either one of those games. All right, we are, uh, we're waiting here. While we're waiting, you got a job to do, folks. You got to hop on over to the Bronze Mythic YouTube channel and go follow that because uh, it's new. You should do that. Bronze to stone. All right, everyone's got to relax a little bit, all right? You lose a game or two and folks start to lose faith. You can't lose faith. You can't lose faith. You gotta have faith, folks. You gotta have faith. Come on. Come on. Yes, citizen. You leave, my, leave my paladin alone, please. Thank you. All right. They're gonna hypnotic pattern it. We have an O2 lifelinker. An O2 lifelinker. Um, I guess you want to cast a unicorn here just as far as, like, uh, mana efficiency goes. So... Unicorn it is. There you go. No attacks. Awesome counter counter. Can't grow the unicorn. Nefarious Imp. Lulu! Alright, well, this is a great spot for a wild shape. And it makes it a 3 3 trample, which is pretty awesome. So, just gonna attack. Gonna wild shape. Play innkeeper. If they block, I suppose. But if they don't block, I'm playing the uh the holly font, so I guess I could wait and try and protect the holly font, but I only have uh I'll see. They're gonna block. So yeah, we're gonna wild shape play tollkeeper here. So make it into a 3-3 elephant with trample. Or the elephant theme deck, please. Thank you. Kill that, deal two. Awesome. Let's cry, sure. Bottom. Innkeeper or toll keeper, whatever. Take a little lucky loo and see what's up. They have all lands and spells. Um They have a merchant and a shambling ghast. Oh my god, their hand's pretty good. We can make the shambling ghast come and tap, so we at least can't block this turn. But everything else blocks also. Oh man, this is gross. This is gross. Alright. Tapping the land doesn't do that much. I guess it's like it's has been from double spelling. All right, sure. I mean, I'm down with that. So you go. Shambling gas is uh pretty nasty on this board. Merchant's great too. Play merchant. All right. So we're gonna attack them both. I'm gonna bluff attack here. Oh, I have treasure. No, they they could have could, 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 could use treasure. Oh, that's great, actually. I'm down with that. So now we're not gonna bluff attack, but. Draw the Dread Lenorm. All right. I mean... <sighs> just going to play the Holly Font so they go. Our attacks are terrible, so... Play this. Get our boons. So they go. Got some good adventures here. Got a good dragon thingy, but... Can't cast too much just yet.
Should fly it. Pick up the steepest too. Alright. Wizened Githzari. 2 1 for 2. Whenever it becomes blocked by a creature, that creature perpetually gets minus 2, minus 0. That's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Alright, we drew a land. Um, they have the ability to Shambling Gas Sack. Just gonna play the dragon, I think. We should attack for one in the air and play dragon. We could, like, pump up the paladin, too, and then have a 2-4 lifelinker, which is honestly pretty good, but... We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens here. They are tanking. Tanking! Here comes the elephant. All by its lonesome. Alright, so... Just gonna cast dragon here. Cast dragon, say go. They want to sack Ghast, draw a card, and kill my Toll Keeper, so be it. Like, we could leave up our, our thingy and try and, like, save it, but, like, a 5-3 on a board isn't even that good anyway, and, like, it's not worth it. They didn't sacrifice it! Wow! Wow! I'm... I'm astounded. I'm very surprised. Now I got a 4-3 flyer, and if they kill it, I get a 7-7 flyer. So, not too bad. Not too bad. They play an Imp. We draw a Farst. So. We, uh... I don't want to discard any of these cards. Uh, I want to make land drops and play my spells here. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to attack them both. They might block the mirrorless and try and kill it with Tamlin Gas like a puppet. So, just jam. <clears throat> I think our uh, we have double tricks here on the dollar. So, they have one card in hand. You know, don't necessarily know if it's trick or not, but don't think it's that bad for us if it is. Just going to jam. Jam in the air and see what they do. Just go from there. I feel like a block and then a sack shambling gas is fairly likely. So that makes this card really, really good. So they're going to block. And they're going to do it. So sack shambling gas. Try and put a counter on my dragon. And we're going to blow them out with the, uh, with the spell. Now it's a 6-5 hexproof. That doesn't work. This doesn't work. It's freaking huge now. They scry top, but now we have a 6-5 flyer, and if they kill it, we get another huge flyer. So, kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. And we have Ty's Blessing also. Bottom, sure. Later, Thanos. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Y'all great. Charm sleep. Well, that one doesn't work for any of it, actually. That was the best case scenario for them. Uh, they were to play it without killing it, and without this being able to stop it. Very, very annoying, but sure. I don't think we have any way to stop this or to sacrifice it. We have the one disenchant creature, I guess, but sure. That's fine. We're still way ahead here. We're still way ahead. Let's tap and draw band together. Um, I don't want to discard these cards. <laughs> you know, like... Um, we could just kill the merchant and attack, I guess. Like, that seems fine. Sacrifice another creature, too. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, let's use this and this and kill this. Kill the Muralis? No. We're not going to use a premium kill spell to kill our own creature. We can't even cast a 7-drop dragon, you know? Like... Alright, so kill that. Now our attacks are awesome. We could specialize. It would be... We didn't even do much, though. This is fine. Attack with everything. They block. We have the trick anyway. So... Sure. It's a weird block. They're blocking here or not here, but sure. I'll go for it. You got anything? Nope. All right, cool. Adventure cards are freaking awesome. Adventure cards are freaking awesome. All 
Land number seven. Two cards in hand. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Sleep again? Going to sleep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right. Here come the clowns. Gain one life, please. Thank you very much. Make my unicorn bigger. Adventures is just so powerful. Just so powerful. Draw a card. That's game, folks. Pack it up. Pack it up. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. We actually drew the disenchant creature, too. Uh, this gives other flying. This is four, three, block, four. Oh, they're, they're just dead, right? They bled. I guess they're, yeah, they're dead if I, if I, if I activate this. So do this, do this. Make an elephant attack. And they dead. They dead. Freaking elephant angel. We just dragon to untap sleep creatures. Oh, this thing? Yeah, sure. That's fair also. That's fair also. Toro, back at it. Hands good. Hands good. What's up, Slad? How's it going, my friend? Wild shape. All right, Paladin, do your thing, my friend. We need some, uh, we need some more threats here. I'm not gonna lie. We got three spells and one threat. One more Colts punter. Ooh. This card's good. Uh, the Nightshade Disciple. We're gonna attack into it. See what they do. They're gonna block. All right, so we we rather use Wild Shape or something on watch. Probably Wild Shape. So we'll give it a little trample. Our Elephant Tribal deck. This is what I was saying about Wild Shape being good in this deck. Uh, is that your opponent really wants to block with their uh, with their creature on this thing. And then we get to, get to kind of blow them out. So, Pilgrim's Eye is not bad. Um, <clears throat> straight Soul Tie. Okay. Pilgrim's Eye also. Sure. Farce. So not nothing crazy, no fourth color or anything like that, but untapping. All right, we drew our dragon, and this is definitely a dragony kind of hand. We're a little light on threats. We have a pilgrim's eyes, so this card's good. This card's a good specialized card. So many freaking words on it, like comical amount of words, but it is good. You managed to get through it. It is pretty good. Take a planes here. Play the planes. There you go. Soul asks, pack two, pick eight. Nothing in your color, no artifacts, no lands. Do you hate draft a card you know works well against your deck? Or do you pick the cards best out of the pack? Are you playing on arena? Oh, that was a pretty good draw. Oh my god, what's this thing? Polar Werebear. Hexproof. If it hasn't dealt damage yet. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, make a food token. Pay a blue, sack a food, draft a card from the spell book. When you do, add blue, blue, blue. And just a bunch of stupid sea creatures. <laughs> All right. That's a card, I guess. Um, doesn't have reach, right? It's got actual hex We can't target it. I guess we're just going to paladin attack with our pilgrim's eye. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Card does seem pretty good. Like, just a uh, a four or five hex proof for four is pretty good. <laughs> Especially gonna hit me, make a food, and then make a oh grim bounty. That's fine. That's fine. Grim bounty there is exactly where we want it. All right, keep our dragon safe. Keep our dragon safe. <clears throat> this thing always gets to deal the first point of damage. So and then once it attacks, we can use the this thing on it later. They're going to attack. Um, I don't want to trade Pilgrim's Eyes, so... Go to 20. They get to make a food. Now I can kill this. Pay a blue, sack a food, draft a card, and add blue, blue, blue. Alright, here we go. It's time to go fishing, I guess. Time to go fishing. So, you know, Spellbook is, a, again, a mechanic where you draft from a certain subset of cards. There's 15 cards that go with this card. And they'll see three of them and pick one. 
Hatchling, I agree. There is a, a bit too much worriedness in the card. Sea Dasher Octopus. But that's the best card in Ikoria. <laughs> Alright, they've mutated Sea Dasher Octopus. Which is still fine for us, because, like, we get to just kill this thing. We draw a Stalwart that's also pretty good. Right, that's pretty good for us, honestly. So we get to attack. Barring a trick here, uh, we're going to kill this on their turn. So we're going to Stalwart. Like this. Could have killed after damage. That is true. Yes, that is true. Play this and just say go. Dragon's teed up right now. They have a. Tr they are playing four colors. <laughs> what? Citadel agent. Oh man, Re the reading glasses. Where my reading glasses go? Oh my god. All right. Uh, <sighs> haste when it attacks discard your hand and draw two specialize three when it specializes or when it attacks you may discard your hand draw two cards if you do it does damage or discard it this turn it could be anything though discard your hand and draw three cards I don't want to read all this that's the problem I just like don't even care I don't want to read it I don't, don't want to read it or whatever it does it does sure Discard your hand and draw th draw two. It seems bad. Here it comes. All right. Discard your hand and draw two. Wow. They're not going to do it. Okay. So before blocks, we're casting this. See if we need to block also. <clears throat> so five damage to attacking creature. Get off my All right. It worked. Face. Thank God. And now we're just going to block this, I guess, too. All right. It's a lot. That was a lot of fuss. That was a lot of fuss for uh for not a lot of payoff. This card's good also. Yeah, this is what I'm saying, where, like, this sort of strategy of just, like, playing all this big, stupid shit seems like it's a pretty good place to be in this format. Uh, we don't draw a land for our dragon. We do have Band Together and something to watch. Um, we could kill the Muralist, because it's going to eventually die anyway. Uh, but that's pretty scary, honestly. They can tutor a dragon, so I think we just chill here and say go. Oh boy, look at, this, look at this variety pack here. Obviously, this is not a real card, but it was conjured, but... Here comes the dragon, sure. I'm not going to kill it. It's 18 to 13, so we're winning the race right now. And they play... Dragon Vassal. Whenever it attacks, other attacking creature you control gets plus X plus O, where X is its power. And I got to read... And these they're playing all these colors, like it could be anything, so like... It just gives it... A keyword. Oh, it's a, it's a. Oh, thank God for a simple one. This is what all the specialized cards should be. It's just the exact same card with like one keyword ability, like flying menace, 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 first strike, first strike, vigilance, vigilance, etc., etc. Um, they all different sizes though. All right. Um, exit power. So, I mean, we could, like, pump and then band together and kill it, which feels awful. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just on tap. All right, drop a land. So now we can cast our dragon if we want to. Um, we could also just, like, pump the squad and then band together and kill this, which would allow us to attack for five, gain six, and kill this. Um, and they have two cards left. Also a slam dragon, but... It's an interesting spot. We probably need to kill this. If we play dragon and they just kill it, we probably just die. Uh, I kind of want to use the spells this turn. Alright, so rouse the party. Band together. Kill that. Gain three life. Attack. Gain three life. Deal five. They're just going to chump? Alright, that's cool. 
So, 24 to 11. We have plenty of time. Look at this mana base here. Jeez. Swamp Swamp. Island Island Mountain or whatever. Hook Horror? Sure. Alright, they're out. They're out. Coast is clear. Coast is clear. Coast is clear. Bingo. It's dragoning time. Say go. Whenever at the summon damage to a player, roll a d20. When you do, put X plus the most encounters on each of the two target creatures where X is the result. Oh boy, folks! Can we get an attack step this turn, please? This thing kills too fast to be fun, though. This is like, this is like, this is like a, a very clear commander card because it just kills your opponent like two shots anyway in like a, a, tw a 20 life game. You gotta have 40 life and four opponents to make this thing really, really good, but... Pretty high variance. Lulu? A green Lulu does... Plus two, plus two? Sure. Lulu, activate, discard. It does pump the dragon. All right, take nine, spin the wheel. 14. So put 14 plus all plus one counters on these. <laughs> All right, that's very silly. All right. Yeah, that's that's a reasonable outcome to the game, I suppose. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, I could have killed him with the eye. Whatever. It was more fun to uh to not kill them and, tr and trigger it. So we'll take it. Freaking plus fourteen, plus fourteen. All right, this hand's not great. We're gonna keep it. Uh, I can't mulligan three lands four spells, even though we have no two drops. But our deck's like all two drops. So yeah, the blue one's funny because the blue one draws between 1 and 20 cards. It can easily just deck you. So, like... Alright. Land, land go. Let's draw any creature that costs less than 3. Or less than, less than 4. We can cast Hippogriff if we, like, absolutely have to, you know? Such is the price of knowledge, yes. Such is the price of knowledge. Alright. Oh, Soul of the Watch is so good. Alright. That was good. I'll take Pilgrim's Eye here. I'll take Pilgrim's Eye here. So, we're going to get a forest. And we could block and just trade, but then we're going to wait and try and use our Hippogriff, I guess. We have this thing, too. We'll see what, we'll, we'll see what they were thinking here. I think we're going to we're gonna not block. No attack? That's crazy. That's crazy. Just get your, just get your double team while you can, you know? The Giant Dragon won the last game, yes. We got a curve out here, folks. We got a curve out. Um, however, we have a really, really good defensive turn, so... Gonna play this and say go. Um, we've got a bunch of great spells to cast. Definitely, this is a spot where... If you're an experienced player, you might not even attack this turn. Because I just said go with six cards in my hand and four mana up. You might not know exactly what it is, but you know it's something. And you usually want to stay home. Uh, so, now they're going to attack the soldiers, sure. So, they're going to conjure a copy. They can pump with this thing. They want to. Um, however, if they do, we got tricks up the wazoo. So, we're going to... Uh, we're going to move to block first and try and get them to pump and then go from there. Um, so, let's block here. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. They pump, we have many, many options. The best of which might just be... Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. So we probably want to use... There should pass priority. All right. Um, we're going to cast spells. We're going to Hippogriff. And then we're going to something I watch. Kill this and save this. Want to cast Hippogriff next turn anyway. So... <clears throat> They have their own Hippogriff? Sure. That's great for us, because now we have this thing to kill this, too. It's sick. Sure. And now we'll kill this. Cool. So they had, they had a trick. They, they were attacking with a trick as well, but that's fine for us. Good exchange for us, for sure. They play another Vampire Spawn. <laughs> now I get to play Hippogriff and leave up our Wild Shape, which is great. Toll Keeper. Also kind of cool. We're definitely playing the Hippogriff here, so. 
Play this, they go. Good blocks lined up, wild shape lined up. Paladin next turn, maybe we could have the Toll Keeper plus Deflection next turn. <clears throat> Better to kill Soldier to kill Hippogriff. Oh, um, yeah, I think you're right. I think I screwed up. Um, yeah, if I had killed the Soldier, I fizzle the uh, the V Adventure spell. That seems more. See, that seems better than killing their spawn. Y'all right. Y'all right. I screwed up. Play Epigraph. Play Epigraph. And they don't really have any attacks here. Sure. Pretty cool. Untap and draw first. So now we're just gonna Tollkeeper and then have up our uh, our Dread thingy. So play this. Take a looky loo at the hand. We've got all spells. Black Dragon and Paladin. It's a pretty good hand. Uh, geez, that is a pretty good hand. We're at 13. Doesn't really matter, honestly. I guess Dragon. Sure. Play Forest. Our attacks aren't great. All right, we could just jam and use the Lenorm now. Which is honestly pretty reasonable. It untaps it too, so... Just like... Jam with the, uh... Hippogriff and see if, they, see if they block or not. Sure. This untaps also. And like, we, we know their hand is safe for, uh, for next turn, so... They do have this, uh, the pumpy thing, I guess, but it's fine. We can make that work. Paladin's nice. Wild Shape's nice. Sure. So I'd really like to cast this deflection almost over any, like, just in, no matter what, on the red that we're trying to cast it. All right, they have Paladin, which pumps. It's pretty good. But now I have my thingy, which is also good. So they attack. We untap and block. This all looks pretty good for us. Give that flying. Untap Hippogriff. It's pretty good. We are taking some hits here, but we can uh, we can kill the unicorn if we want to. We can just kill the flyer. We take five here. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I want to kill a Hippogriff over uh, unicorns. This is fun. Take a shot. We have our own paladin though, and we have wild shape. And now we have now we have this thing, the freaking acolyte. Uh, this card's really good. I didn't read it fully, but specialize life link. Next creature spell gains life link counter. Okay, and then the green one is whenever it leaves the battlefield, make an ox. Blue, so white's pretty good. Um, but I don't want to pitch. I don't want to pitch this thing. So. Uh, we gotta cast paladin here though, because like. <clears throat> I don't want to discard any of these cards, and it doesn't it just like very mad and efficient to do this right now? If I play Paladin, I get to attack with a bunch and have a defensive wild shape up also. So yeah, it's a little late. It's a little late. We have this thing. Like giving this thing life link would be insane, but I have to discard a white card to do it. And I would have a three three life linker that blocks not great into this, and they have a dragon also. I guess they're still a little ways away from that anyway. So I cast Paladin, I think. Cast Paladin. <clears throat> Slam, Vigilance, big attack. Blocks are great. Like, we'll find a land to discard this at some point, or whatever, you know? Like, we're not in a huge rush to do that, so. And now that Paladin on the board, it's also like a nice little Beaver. All right, they're gonna come in. All right. Um, just the five five. So we get to. This is actually pretty sick. So we get to double block with the Griff and the Paladin. Then whatever they put first, we get to make our creature into a a one five. I guess they put this first. Yeah, they'll put this first probably. I make it to a one five with counters on it. It'll be a three six. Or three seven or whatever, yeah. Block like this. See what they order first, and they'll make our hippogriff into a one five spider with reach. 
So it has two counters on it. It's going to be a 3-7. And now not enough damage to kill it. And the thing dies, which is pretty great for us. So we like that. We like that. We'll take it. We'll take it. Shambling Gas, sure. Now the Tides are turning here a bit. Containment is good, but might just be better as uh, flipping this thing. Because then I get to uh, make my next creature have lifelink, which is great. Um, they if they draw a land, they can dragon down my thing. Then I get to play this thing. Interesting game. Interesting game, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So I guess I don't need to do it now, though. Their dragon isn't really relevant, because it just doesn't size right at all. It's just a 4-4 four, four against my 4-5, four, my 4-4, four, four, my 7-6. That's how I have lifelink, too. So let's just attack. Um, this is Vigilance. Just jam. No reason to play this first. Doesn't do anything, so. Oh, this is not a Vigilance. My bad. I love this card naturally at Vigilance. Uh, <laughs> that's bad. Uh, that's not good. It's not... I mean, they have to draw a land for Dragon, but... Alright, that's a little awkward, honestly. I I punted. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, whatever. Cast... Activate this. Make it white. I think we're, I think we're still fine, but I, I definitely thought that's, that's, that's card naturally at Vigilance. So, I have a Life Linker. If they draw a land and play Dragon, they can kill it, but... I can just block if I have to, and I have a huge lifelinker coming also. They don't draw it, and they play the Disciple, which can exile a creature and specialize, but I think it's a little too late here, I think. We draw any land, we're playing a huge creature. We don't draw a land, we're playing anything else. We've got a big flyer. We have two big flyers to kill them, so I think they're just dead. So they can... They can't recur and flip and cast, so yeah, I think, they think they're just dead here. It's mostly just like, can they draw a land for Black Dragon? Simple as that. I think we're pretty good here. Doesn't get flying, does it? Yeah, I, if you if you design a game piece that your players literally don't even want to read. You screwed up. You screwed up. That is true. So it's funny. Making the dragon come in tapped ended up being really relevant. Because they can kill this. They still die in the air anyway. So I think they were just dead regardless. Okay. Uh, they're going to specialize. But they're just dead. I don't understand. They're going to conjure a Hippogriff into their hand, which they, of course, can use to Blessing, but they just don't have Flyers. They're just dead, so. All right. No sound effects. We'll take it. Silence is golden, says the Magic Arena client. Captain Canada. All right. Uh, hands good. This card's great. First time casting this card, I can't wait. Can't wait. Let's go, Soldier of the Watch. Got some pump spells, some band togethers. We got a whole band in one card, so what's a one a one man band? Get it? Oh no, a two three. That's not fair. All right. Uh, sure. It's on my shirt. Atomic Blonde, call us apparel.shop. Promo code GM10, 10% off your order. Best magic apparel out there. Check it out. Mad comfortable, too. What's up, Aqua? Should have gone for the vampire spawn and specialized. There's a lot of text in those cards. There are a lot of text in those cards. Is that Brea? I honestly don't know, actually. I am not a. Maybe? Probably? I'm not sure. I don't follow the commander stuff too, too closely, so. They're going to the enthusiasm to kill my soldier, and the next thing they play is plus three plus O. Oh. That was devastating. Um, shit, I'm drawing all lands too. Good games, Aqua. This is bad. This is really bad. 
They have a disenchant, and I have an enchantment. I have two tricks, three lands, and no creatures. My deck is like 60% creatures. <laughs> Need a little help here. And they have a, a big buff on the next creature, so like... That's real bad. <clears throat> this card's good. Just two, three for two is like already fine. Bag of holding. Thank God they play bag of holding. Folks, please don't play this card in your deck. All right, so loot. Discarding a Ithalid Harvester. That's a good card. Sure. It's good if you're ahead. And you need, if, you need, if you need a way to like draw cards, but for like a thousand mana, then sure, it's fine. But <sighs> killing me, Smalls. Killing me, Smalls. Uh, all right. So there you go. Yeah, if you're desperate for like a late game, it's fine. If you're gonna like stall the game out, but it is very, very slow. Very, very slow. This card's insane. This card's so good. Just so good. This happened last time our opponent played Bag of Holding. They just like, wasted their mana in the early turns. He gave us so much time. Alright. Be a shame if I destroyed it. I can't yet. Larry Scar Draconic Lore. Alright. They got some pretty good cards under there. I'm not going to lie. We can contain it, but they, they can just free it with this thing, so... We can kill this somehow and then containment it. Yes, we can do that. All right, take two more. Thank God they didn't apply any pressure here. You know, like, that's funny. All right, so they're going to have a 3-2 Scaled Nurturer. Adorable. We draw a Hippogriff. Well, I really don't want to just play this without using the Adventure. We kind of have to. So, we're going to do it. Here we go. Come on, Hippogriff. Contain your moves abilities, and they can use this thing to destroy it. This thing destroys artifacts and enchantments. I know it has a million words on it, but I promise you the words on there somewhere say destroy artifact or enchantment. So, a lot of words. A lot of words. No worries. No worries. Don't ever apologize for not knowing what a specialized card do. Most people don't. Most people don't. <laughs> Ooh. We're good. We're good. 3-2 Dragon Druid. Imagine having a zero power dragon. That's just embarrassing. Just embarrassing. What's up, Captain Canada? You gonna throw your mighty shield at me? They're gonna specialize. Wow. Um, they're gonna discard... Or they're gonna specialize... The red green thing discarding the fireball. It goes into the bag of holding. So now they can't disenchant anymore. That's awesome. And it's a 3 4. And I get a boom with the next creature spell. It gets plus so in haste. Alright. Sure. Alright. They're going to lead back the nurturer. Wow. Uh, we have a 3. Alright, that's, that's fine, I guess. I mean, now I can I can turn the bag of holding off, which is actually pretty good because we're at, at the they've used it so many times now, but like it's pretty gross. Play this thingy, and this thing's gonna get haste. All right. If you screw up, Ominous quest line. What? What are you talking about? Um, we draw our own emissary, which can actually kill a bag of holding. Also, that's pretty good, actually. So we can like, what? What are the? I gotta read all this. God damn it! Uh, oh, but it puts, it puts counters on things on each of two other target creatures. What's the green one? The green one is gain four life, three four. That's not bad. Well, I kind of want to discard a. Uh, kind of want to discard a. Probably, probably discard. They have two cards left. We definitely want to kill this. Um, the question is, what are we discarding? 
Yeah, if we had another creature in play, I'd want to get the white side. But gaining four life, I don't know. Discarding a land is like not crazy here. We kind of want the pump spell, honestly. I think we discard the land. I know you kind of want to get to cast this thing too, but like we need to draw spells or lands here. I'm gonna discard the land. So discard a. No, pump the griff. Leave our trick up. I want to keep banding together. I want to keep Linorm. So sure. Kill this. And pump this. Get off my place. Suck it, cool cards. And just say go. I think we're very close to stabilizing here. Very, very close. Sizing up pretty well. They're all human elf druids. Hmm. hmm. Alright, that's fine. Because we can just kill a band together, so... It's not that bad. Um... Now I have Containment live, too, actually. I was actually... Them popping this made a lot of our hand much more reasonable. Try Devoted Paladin? That's also not bad. I guess we gotta kill this thing, though. Whenever it attacks, another target attack creature gets plus X plus O. Be attacking for 8? They're 22. Hmm... This is also a good trick, too. Man. Maybe we just say go here? If they have one of these also, we're in big doo-doo. It's a tough spot. Tough spot. Kind of want to just, like, kill this. We could, like, try and wait for a better spot. I gotta do something though. I'm just gonna say go. Like, maybe they try and specialize, we blow them out. It's just like, now we have five mana up and five cards. They should, they should, they should, they should never do anything here, but. Alright, they're going for it. Here they come. Alright, so they're gonna have a 5 1 and a 4 4. We're gonna attempt to have a block and see what they do. Best case here is they have a removal spell. We blow them out of the water. Oh my god. No, nothing? Alright. Um, I think we're going to ambush on the road and leave up our our Hexproof spell. Because ha ambush saves our creature and kills their creature. So, we're going to go plus one, plus three. Let's see what they do. Wow. That's it? That's your big finish? That's it? Alright. If you say so. Now what? I took five, it's true, I did take five. And a Basilisk, okay. And they are out. They got nothing left. All right. Um. Now we like band together. Do I just kill the Basilisk now? I think I do. We just, we just kill Basilisk, untap, play Paladin, smash. Yeah, all right. Nothing else really worth killing, and all of our things are big, so... Well, I guess we have flying anyway. That was stupid. I screwed up. I didn't need to kill that, because we're not we're attacking on the ground regardless. That doesn't really matter, because this card's not that great anyway, but... It was, it was not, not, not great. Alright, sure. We're attacking in the air regardless, so I, I, I just kind of forgot this thing did this, but... Attack for a bunch. Everything has vigilance. Your turn. You got nothing in hand. What do you got for me? Didn't need to, I should have killed this or nothing. It's fine, though. Now we got tricks on tricks. We got removal spells. Pilgrim's Eye for another land or two. Oh, 
Draw off the tower. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Corner turn, my friends. Corner turn. What's up, Rod? Corner is turned. Oh, yeah. Follow the tracks? Sure. No. Do your thing. Love this card, but do your thing. Down, down, down to tumble down. And a land, sure. Uh, we just jam with everything and blow them out with this thing. Perfect. Three, four. Yeah, they're super dead. Attack step. Uh, four, two. Yeah, we can't afford to do I and this. Whatever. Attack with everything. Give us flying. They double block. We do this thing. They lose. Single block? Eh, whatever, sure, it's fun. I guess we are at six, we need to be like a little careful, but sure. We go to seven. So just play Pilgrim's Eye and Tollkeeper. I guess they have like draws. Maybe they could like kill us here, but they have literally no cards in hand. We have two blockers, so I think we're in fine shape. Like, what trick could they have? I guess that the plus three plus three gives trample also. We could die here, I guess. Maybe, maybe we should leave back one of them. It felt like a double block spot, honestly, but... It's like a pretty free double block on the Harper. I'm so scared of a trick, you know? Sure. That's a boom boom. That's a boom boom. Oh my god, Becky. And, uh... They're at ten now? We have containment and trick. And they're sending. Alright. Block here. Go to six. Or go to three. And they're at ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're dead. Alright, cool. Works for me. Just do it all though. Just gotta show off a little bit. Do it all. Attack with everything. Woo! Here. And here. And here. And here. And here. Also here. Game. That's 10. We'll Close. take it. That's working somewhat as intended now, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Our opponent's in bronze. That means we're definitely going to lose. 100%. All right, hands good. We're going to keep. Hands good. We're going to keep. Keep this. You're a sub. You're not in the Discord. I mean, you're, you're screwing up. Well, let's tell you. You're screwing up. Green, white, Knoll Hunter. Card's good. Card's good. Steadfast Paladin, please. Um. Oh my god. That was really good. Monk of Silence. Crap. Uh. It's like so obvious if I leave this up. Alright. I'm gonna play this. So there you go. Next creature I cast is flying. We definitely want to kill this. Definitely want to kill this. Oh no. Plummet? Unbelievable. Discord's on social media. Discord's just great. Discord is like, I just wish everyone used Discord. Like, my fantasy hockey league I run, we have 16 players. I try to set up a Discord for us, and like half the people use it. And it's just like the best place to talk about stuff and, and like communicate, you know? Pretty bad end here. We have uh, we have drawn a lot of lands, and we're very reliant on them like screw up an attack here. Oh, thank God. All right. Uh, deal five, kill this. Probably still in trouble here, honestly, but we could block, but I have this thing, so we're not gonna block. Oh my god. You stop drawing lands, please. Block, 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 block. Coward, you're a coward. You're not gonna block. Block, you coward. 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 Chicken. Chicken. God damn it. Alright, well, I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Because I want the extra counters anyway. And it, they gain life too, so. Alright, 4-4 four, four, lifelinker. Here. Here. 
Let's go. Bane Slayer Angel. No Hunter. It's got Flying. All right. They can specialize this bad boy. We need something for your folks. We are we are flooded to high hell. Uh, we got this bad boy. We need to fill the gap. We need, we need to do something profitable next turn so I can cast this six drop or seven drop the turn after. Damn it! Somebody's playing a prank on me. I gotta attack. I can't not attack, so. Please don't have the five damage spell. We can't sit back and try and block, so. Double block here is like, if we trade up on both these, sure, whatever. Oh my god. They're just gonna block and blink? Oh. We don't gain any life. Now they attack for a bunch. Oh my god. Ugh. Dawnbringer Cleric? Alright, that could have been worse, I guess, right? <laughs> could have, like, just dumped that to the Holly font, right? Like, why do they want Dawnbringer Cleric on this board? That's weird. That's weird. Alright, yes, they discard Owlbear. Like, why would you why would you want to keep... Alright, sure, whatever. Huge swing. We draw Pilgrim's Eye. This is four, five, six, seven, it's eight next turn. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Gain four. Now we're at nine. If I play the dread thing, these are both four fours. This is six, seven, eight. We go to one. We go to... Oh, Warwick's flying. Oh, that's why these things are here. I forgot. We're good. We're good. Take to the skies. Wow. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. We got a freaking 7-6 flyer, folks. Good thing I didn't cast Pilgrim's Eye. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. We can't block the... Oh, we can't block this. We can't block this. Or we die. We are dead, are we? Four, eight, six... Six, seven, eight. No, I gotta block the. Yeah. Whatever. All I gotta do. Oh my. It's not with everything. I have to block the. I want to block the ground creature. Because if I block the six, I can just trade. I can't block this or I die. So I block here and just go to one. Um. And then I get to attack, gain four, and then play Pilgrim's Eye to block two things next turn. Yeah. Trading with the with the, with the flyer is awful, so. Oh, right, yeah, the, you're, the boon doesn't trigger like that. You're right. <clears throat> All right, sure. Go to one. Nothing. So sketch. So sketch. They only have one card, though. It might just be out. Or have, like, a six drop in their hand. We, we just cannot stop drawing lands. All right, please God, don't have anything. All right, that's good. Play Pilgrim's Eye. I don't know how we have, have any lands left, honestly, at this point. Play Planes. So they go, we're five with two blockers. All right, they drew the land for their, their Guardian, which is pretty good, but it's only triggers on the end their end step. Stalwart? Uh... I mean, now the, the Paladin has to attack, and whatever we trade with is great. Because we want to trade on offense, so they, they, can't, they can't have a trick, and this thing won't trigger, so... We're also going to gain a bunch of life here, too, honestly. Like, maybe we just swing out. This thing perpetually has flying. I can actually blink this defensively, because it perpetually has flying. It's not, like, a counter. Um, That's kind of sweet, actually. Yeah. They're at 14. We're racing. We're, we're at 9. They're at 14. It's 
Steadfast so Paladin. Everyone I was saying Steadfast so Paladin is so freaking good. Here we are. Here we are. Now, they're giving me the option. Do I want to kill the Hunter or the Guardian? Why would they give me the option? Just play around Pump Spell, I guess? Nope. Okay. Hmm. What do we kill here? Do we kill Guardian or Hunter? Guardian making another blocker to be a kind of pain. This, th this thing can't be blocked though right now. I'm going to kill a 4-4. Four, four. So, they're at 7, dead on board to my huge honking chonking flyer. Uh, we're at 9. We're going to blink something. Blinking Pilgrim's Eye for value is basically worthless. Let's blink this. Perpetually a flyer comes back into play as a huge flyer. Dragon should fly. All right, that's just how things should work. That's just how things should work. Yes, citizen. Oh, boy. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Love it. Love it. Close game. Draw a thousand lands. Win anyway. Let's go. What's a what's a dragon that can't fly? You know. What's a game you can't you can't? Oh man, shit. All right, we're gonna vlog in this. Pretty bad hand. Can't keep this one. I don't like I don't like Mulligan Limited, but you can't keep this one. We're gonna Mulligan. We haven't drawn this card yet. Not that's like that good, but we haven't drawn our freaking two drop yet. That that like mythic two drop or whatever. We we've drawn it once, like on turn ten. All right, we gotta keep this. Unfortunately, uh. We're not going to five, so we're going to keep this and hopefully draw lands. That's pretty shitty. All right, here we go. Gate. All right, Keeper's good. That was a really good draw. Look at their hand. They've got... They're also green-white. Double Hippogriff. Ugh. Gross. Uh, yeah, all right. Talk about their lands. There you go. We need help. Cloak of the Bat. This card is not very good. Ah, oh, it's in draw land. Shit. All right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, folks. The old mulligan on the play in best of one. No good. No good. Take a, I'll take a block here. No blocks, cool. All right, let's just get our holly font going, I guess, right? Next creature just got flying, which is going to be our uh, our unicorn, probably. We could also actually stalwart blink this and just do it again, which is actually really sweet. So, they get to equip? No. Yes? No. Yes? All right. So, they have a flying haste vigilance thing that gains life occasionally. Sure. All right. Uh, we can just block, right? Sure. Whatever. We don't draw a land. Um, all right, we're going for the uh, we're going for broke here. We're gonna send our toll keeper. Hopefully they block and try and use this. We use our band together. That's the plan. Let's see how it works. You great soul. How we going? I'll buy a resub. This is a good play. If, actually, no, it's not. Never mind. Uh, I yeah, they're getting blown out. But sure. This is actually a, a, a very bad play. So there are times where you want to play your pump spell or trick before blockers. That time is usually when you're scared of counter spells because the fear is that you block, you play the pump spell and they counter it. That's the one time you want to do that. Uh, by doing it that way, they didn't get to block and stop the damage and they lost everything anyway. So that was, that was actually very, very bad for them. Uh, Shepard is here. That's fine. Uh, we just jam for one in the air. Yes, yeah, so that was not good. Uh, not good. Play unicorns. Got flying. And so they go. That was a huge swing. So that was a solid two for one. Which might get us back into this game as we're down a card or two. Okay. 
3D Flyer. This thing can gain life also, in theory. Discard a white card. Very lonely. Oh my god! I didn't notice this. Owlbear Shepherd is a goblin? What? Alright. Sure. All in flying haste. You got it. Uh, it does block our stuff reasonably well. Didn't draw land again. Um, if we discard a green card here, we can attack for a decent amount. If I discard a white card, I just gain some life, which is also not the worst. Um, yeah, we're going to discard a white card here. Discard a white card. Start getting light to grow this thing. JP, what's up? Resub, thanks so much. Captain Canada, I don't remember exactly. It, it'll, be, it'll be on YouTube. I'll go watch it back. Um, we're going to discard one of these watches. We have many, many of those. And now we attack, gain life, grow the unicorn. Attack through the shepherd. Have protection spell up also. This is pretty good. So get in for uh, a bunch. I can't believe this card's a goblin. Like, I've ca I mean, we had this card in our last draft. I didn't even notice. It's the most ungobliny goblin I've ever seen. Attack, trigger, gain two life, grow the unicorn, wombo combo. Please have this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of <sighs> Love it. This card's really good. Hippogriff, really, really good. Down to eight. Playland. Just such a good card. One mana trick plus adventure. So good. So good. Can never play around it, you know? You just can't play around it. It's one mana trick. Now what? Goblin Druid. Turned our unicorn to a Pegasus. We gave it some wings. Oh. Waka waka. Can find my unicorn, not the Lulu. All right, sure. We draw land. Can I flicker? No, it's non-warrior creature you control. It sucks. I can't flicker the uh, the thingy. Um, do I even? I can flicker the the toll keeper. Just like fine, I guess. I can also just freaking cast this. I guess the flying doesn't matter. Uh, if I flicker Lulu, it unspecializes. Yes, I don't want to do that necessarily. All right, I'm just gonna flicker with Tollkeeper. So I believe it unspecializes. It would ETB as like the the base level creature or whatever. So who knows though? Specializes. It doesn't unspecialize. Specialize is perpetual? <laughs> Who designs these cards? Another Owlbear Shepherd? Jeez. They have this thing too? Alright, that's good to know. Wow, I did, I did not know that. If I had known that... Although, it would ETB as... Then it would ETB as this, not the thing that gives the boon. Alright, sure. I don't know, folks. I just play the cards. I don't know what they do. Alright, I don't know what they do. <sighs> Woo! Waka, waka. There's a green one that unspecialized when it leaves the battlefield. What? Alright, so now yeah, now we know about this uh the dread, the scale deflection here, so. They have two one fours. Once they cast this, it's kinda gross, but we have the band together also, so I think they're just like dead. Honestly. Their blocks here are atrocious thanks to this thing too, so we just jam. Just jam. This is a blowout. This is a blowout turn. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. I have to. I have to. I have to. Dead. Dead. Wait, what? Didn't they already cast the blessing? Oh. Why didn't, they, why didn't they cast the Blessing? I don't know why I thought they already cast the Blessing. Oh, they, they cast a different Blessing. Right. My bad. No, this Blessing. 
Whatever. They're just freaking dead. Who cares? Uh -huh. Play this. Play that. I got to kill the response too. I just, I just, I just, sorry. I got, I got, I was, ha I was having too much fun. All right. I should have killed that response, obviously, and blown them out, but I was just having too much fun. I apologize. I apologize. We're going to kill them next turn anyway, so. Oh, God. Yeah, I should have obviously cast this and killed the response. I was just surprised. They're dead. doesn't matter. Why not kill the worm later? I mean, blowing them out there it just kills the griffin and the shepherd at the same time. So, definitely should have just killed that there. They didn't draw land anyway. Oh, my God. Ermagert. Paladin. Yeah, Paladin. Whatever, you're dead. They got nothing. They got nothing. This and this kills... Whatever. Doesn't matter. You're dead. Yeah, whatever. You're good. You're good. Sloppy. Play bad. Win anyway. Seven wins. That could look a little scrappy early on. I'm not going to lie, but we did it. We got seven wins, which is great. Um, definitely, uh, definitely, I think that going big feels like the way to go in this format. I don't necessarily think that being small ball like this deck was, is that good, but I'm not sure. Our deck seemed good, but I'm also not sure, uh, how good it actually was. More research is needed. Take a look over here at untap.gg. You should download it for yourself, uh, using our, my link in chat right now, because it's free and you should download it. Um... We definitely, like, maybe these, like, like small ball tricks are a little not good enough. Um, but our deck was pretty good. I mean, we, it's funny. We never drew this, this sick rare. We drew this card once, like, late in the game. If you cast this card on turn two, it's unbelievable. All the cards in your hand get plussed, like, perpetually, which is just sick. Cards are really, really good. Never really drew it. Uh, but we had some tricks. Something I watched is actually pretty good in this deck. is a, a pump spell also, which is kind of nice. Uh, never drew that thing. Lulu's great, no questions there. Band together's great, no questions there. Again, not really a great deck for uh, for Ancient Bronze Dragon, but it's a pretty silly card. It's very, very good. Very, very good. Um, and yeah, that's our deck. All right, sweet. Seven and two. Episode four, Bronze I think is in the books. Episode five is coming up right after this on stream. You two folks, though, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great.